What up, folks? I'm Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of Rodan from Godzilla, King of the Monsters from... Yep, them. Uh, yeah, I got mine, though, at the U.S. Gundam a store. And, uh, you know what? I initially had a pre-order up at BBTS, and uh, I do know other people that got theirs already from BBTS, and uh, I didn't. So uh, this has happened to me more than once, so a little PSA. If you didn't get your pre-orders in from BBTS, there's a possibility that it's sold through already, and uh, you might not get it. Um, just... This is from experience. This happened with me with ALF. This happened with me with the uh, Jurassic Park 3 a Raptor. So, and this year alone, I'm saying, <laughs> it's happened to me. And it looked like it was happening to me with Rodan, but shout out to my buddy Steven. Uh, pointed out that a U.S. Gundam store had this in stock. So, uh, and shout out to them. Good service. Fast service. Very seemingly nice service. So, uh, I'm happy to have gotten it. And why did I get it through anywhere other than Haya? Well, why don't you uh, go uh, check out my Vlogzilla from two months ago. So without any further ado, let's get to the room. And here's Rodan out of the package. And I'll let you know it. He's far from perfect for me. But, uh... Um, first up, he comes with two of these H-Clips. Now, if you don't know what these are, if you've never seen any of my higher reviews, my so many higher reviews that I've done for that company. Um, their stands come with these little clips, so you could clip together other stands with it. So, you put that there, and then you would clip in another one here. And I guess, you know, Mothra comes with one of these as well, and you'd be able to, uh, put them... Uh, together. So uh, it comes with two of these. My other one went flying as soon as I opened the box. It's here somewhere. It's not a big deal. Uh, this is the stand. It's a little yellow, I gotta say. It's a little bit yellow. And, and uh, it's not, for me at least, it's not holding super, super tightly uh, on Rodan. And I feel like, like the arms are just not strong enough. You see that? So even if you do something else. <laughs> yeah. Not so hot. Not so hot. And not not hot at all, actually. Um that's really a pain in the butt. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's look at this one in uh full and let's uh start out with the head where I um I'm missing paint on his nose. At the very tip of the nose, it is completely not painted. And then some of the teeth look like they're not painted either. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Definitely not the nose. That's supposed to be fully this color here. So, and it's like red. So yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's not great. The eyes look all right. The rest of the head sculpt isn't so bad. I like it enough. Top of the head looks pretty good. Decent sculpt, decent paint. The eye looks pretty good. See, there's a little tongue inside there. That looks all right. Yeah, that nose, man. He's like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, I mean, you know, could paint that over. But, um, yeah, not supposed to be like that. The neck looks pretty decent. The body is pretty good. I like the, um, and I like this brick red wash over it. Or is it the plastic color this color? It's hard to tell. Um, it could be like, you know, one way, you know, it's like that and another spot it's not. But it looks good either way. I like it. You know, I think it works well for what Rodan is. The chest looks pretty good. A nice sculpt overall. I like the shoulders a lot. And the back of that body, also pretty decent. Fairly neat, you know? Going all the way down to the tail. I think that looks pretty good too. Really nice sculpt. The paint looks good. You know, for, you know, something that's just like a washover, I think it's done pretty well, I gotta say. 
The legs are decent. Like his little nails. Those are painted fine, thankfully. This one, this toe is a little warped on mine. Not a big deal. Overall, I think the legs look pretty good. You got some osteoderms in there. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Then the wings. It's pretty good, you know. I like that the uh, darker parts, you know, gradate downwards into the lighter parts. That's always good. I like the edges, kind of like torn edges. I think it's pretty nice. You got some copyright stuff there. But the wings, I think, look pretty good in total. On the top here, and then you got the little hands. Not bad. Eh, a, little, a, little, a little paint error right there, I would say, but that's not too bad. You got holes there because it's got bendy wires. We'll look at that in a second. This hand is very, very pink, but I don't compare it to that one, right? Oh, no, it's about the same, so that, I'll, uh, I'll let that slide. On the other side, it's looking pretty decent, I gotta say. Not bad at all. I like it. Again, back of the head looks good. Back. Yeah. I mean, you know, proportions are good. He's got a nice big wingspan. Can't fault it for that. I think it's pretty good. Materials feel rather good. You know, I kind of like it. Even the bendy wire wings, they have a nice solid feel to them. That's good. So it doesn't feel like loose anywhere. <laughs> Not like the stand. The stand is like super loose on mine. Uh, I would say the only problem is the beak. You know, the beak being uh, red there instead of um, that, like, you know, dark gray brownish color that it should be. You know, like... And then the, the teeth are also uh, a bit red, and I don't think that's supposed to be. But, you know, so a couple paint things there aside... Uh, looks wise, I think it works. I think it works. And for articulation on this guy, the, the jaw opens. As you can see, does a tongue move in there? I, I can't really reach it, so uh, I don't think it does. And the head looks pretty good. Does it? Body looks pretty good. Feels pretty good. Moves pretty good, I should say, in the neck. Got a couple of joints in here. I wouldn't go crazy moving this part here. I feel like it feels not super sturdy. Like the plastic feels not super sturdy there, but the body feels pretty good. And and then the legs, not a ton of movement at the hips. The knees as well. I'd be careful which way you're turning them. Find the right groove. There's the hinge. It's not super bad, but, you know, do be careful. The feet as well, kind of same feeling. The legs, you know, they're okay. They're not, like, amazing. The tail moves fine. And then, like I said, you have a bendy wire here, but before that, you got decent movement at the shoulders, I gotta say. And it holds the weight of the wings. They kind of, It looks like they're pretty weighty, so uh, kudos there. And then... You get the bendy wire there, so you could do a bunch of different things with them. Some people don't like bendy wires. I think they work, especially if you could cover the, the holes pretty good. And I think the sculpt, because it's so much, it covers the holes pretty well. Like, right here, it's kind of glaring. Not super glaring, but you can see them. Um, but overall, I'd say this, this works. This works for articulation, yeah. It's not so bad. And for your size comparisons, as Rodan is just leaning really on Godzilla and Kong, I think I'll be able to tighten up that um, that stand a little bit. <laughs> Out of the box, man, that thing is not good. Uh, here they are all together, and they look pretty, pretty good. The wingspan on Rodan, you know, you know, makes it have a place within these guys. But um, still. Godzilla is the best of uh, the three, without a doubt. This was, like, you know, individually probably my favorite figure last year. Uh, and it was on my list, but, you know, I say probably because the pendants change all the time, you know. Uh, Kong, I, he, he's fine, but he wasn't going to make my list. Um, 
Will Rodan? Uh, right now, I'd probably say no, but it's not a bad figure. And if I like, do I like him more than Kong? I probably like him more than Kong overall, despite, you know, the, the beak problem. And here's how it compares uh, to the other Rodans in this scale, including the SH Monster Arts and the NECA and the Jax. Yes, I do uh, include the Jax in this, of course. Um, as far as which is the best, well, I'm thinking about doing a, you know, Fatal 4-Way here. I, I, think it, I, I think I might have to do that. You guys want to see that? Let me know down below. And my final thoughts, well, despite some trouble getting it in more ways than one, um, I'm glad to have it. You know, I really wanted to get this one even more so than, like, Mothra and any upcoming releases right now because I really love Rodan. The Monster Rush Rodan is just awesome to me. Um, it's a pretty cool figure. It really is. You know, mine uh, has some a little bit of pain issues on the nose and the teeth. But... That said, I think it's a really nice figure overall, I do. Um, I do like the wings, you know, I think it's pretty nice. The paint is pretty good everywhere else, so, um, you know, it's not bad. But the stand is not good out of the package, you know. Can I get it better? Maybe, but that doesn't affect this review at all. And for this review, it's a bad stand. Uh, um, and there are some issues, I feel like there could be some issues with some of the plastic here. Um, you know, when I was articulating it, I feel like some of it is, you know, some of these joints might be super thin, so do be careful. But otherwise, it's a pretty decent Rodan. Is it the best Rodan? Stay tuned. I really feel like uh, I should do uh, that, you know, comparison video with the four, because I never did do even a SH Monster Watch versus NECA when it came to, uh, to um, when it came to Rodan or Mothra, but more so with Rodan, I feel like I want to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do Mothra, but with Rodan, I think that, that might go because the, the figures scale very well amongst each other, more so than the Godzilla and the Kong did with like SH Monster Arts and stuff. So um, stay tuned, stay tuned for that. But for now, you know, if you get your hands on this Rodan, I think you're going to like it overall, especially if you get one that doesn't have bad beak paint like I do. I got mine at the U.S. Gundam store. You can check them for availability. I have no idea. I haven't checked uh, if they still have it. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.